I think this is a perfect day for some gazpacho. Even though it's a summer soup, we can definitely find a way to let it warm our hearts this morning. And it's 610 this morning, and joining me is uh, Gil Evans from Pasta Fina. Good Thank morning. Thank you so much for stopping Glad by. Glad I could be in. Glad I could be in. Yes. Uh, last time you, you uh, came on the show and you made a great pasta creation, and today, National Gazpacho Day. And for a lot of folks, they're probably thinking, what is gazpacho? So explain <laughs> what it is first, because I know it has to do with the summer. Sure. Yeah, um, what it is, it's a uh, tomato based raw vegetable soup that's actually pureed. It's uh, really created for the summertime uh, when people are in the fields um, in, uh, in southern Spain and Portugal. It was something to give them a little bit of refreshment outside of water and different things like that. And the wine. Now, so, but today I'm actually going to do a little bit different version. It's, a, it's more of a Mediterranean style. A um, little bit of uh, grilled tomatoes. And uh, I'm not sure if I should start a little bit of it now. Or... You can oh, okay. take it away whenever you're ready. Or um, what? <laughs> so you, you said there's going to be tomatoes in here. Yeah, the, what else the traditional comes out, it actually served with, uh, with uh, stale bread. What, what I'm doing is taking a little bit of baguette. I brushed them earlier with a little bit of olive oil. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, just mm -hmm. kind of lightly toast those up a little bit and make sure my heat's on here. Smells and good. while that's cooking, too, I have some uh, Roma tomatoes. I'm just going to go ahead and give them a little bit of kosher salt on them and I, a little bit of fresh pepper and olive oil on these, just a, t just a tiny drizzle. And what, that's basically what I did with my tomatoes that I'm going to use for the soup today. So I'm going to kind of squeeze these on here a little bit, too. Just to show you how, right, easy, it, how easy it, it is to do. You can hear the sizzle at home, yeah. and it smells even better. I was going to put some garlic and onions on the grill to drive you guys crazy, but I decided not to do that. Oh, you should have. Oh, I should have. Oh, no. Yeah, I should have <laughs> went all out. We love garlic and onions. Isn't that right, Michael? <laughs> We do. All right. <laughs> well, um, I wanted to, this is the finished product here. It's, uh, what I, it, it's nice to do this a little bit the day, day before, even a couple hours, because you want the tomatoes, uh, it, again, it is a cold soup, so you want everything to be, be nice, and, nice and chilled. Um, so what I'm going to basically do is I'm going to start with my tomatoes. Okay. These have been roasted. Okay, you can see that the, some of the flavors released. Again, this is a Mediterranean, so um, the typical vegetables are onion, cucumber, um, <coughs> red pepper. Um, if you want, you know, herbs are not one of the main ingredients other than salt and pepper, but I'm putting a little bit of fresh basil because we're again we're going to the Mediterranean feel with that. And it's such an easy soup. takes about takes about five minutes once everything's prepared. You know, washing the vegetables and trimming and everything it takes about five minutes to put together. Too. Oh, it's wonderful. Fresh yes. ingredients. Yes. Is that the garlic? This is the fresh garlic. Yeah. Yes, fresh chopped mm -hmm. garlic. Gotta add and, the garlic. And, and of capers? course, we're, yes, capers. So we're, we're doing caper in this um, again because it's uh, the Mediterranean theme. And I'm going to put a little bit of pepper in it. And now, is this this is easy for people to do at home as well? Oh, this right? is very simple. I think anybody can do it. Just make sure you, you don't. At one time, I put my cat in the. Uh, Blender by accident. <laughs> I'm gonna let this toast a little bit. It's early for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyhow, so, uh, why do you think National Gazpacho Day is in December? I, I, I just think I you know, don't it's a know. summer I, soup. I think it's the wine that, that we drink. <laughs> yeah, everybody, it's if somebody different. woke up one day and said, "Hey, today it's snowing out. I think it'd be a perfect day to have something that's ice cold." I'm, <laughs> right. I'm guessing it's that. You know. Although, you know, and, and the other thing too is this is a really could with a little bit of um, vodka, and it could be a very, very fancy uh, Bloody Mary in the morning. So, there you go. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, I've got my vegetables in here, so I'm gonna do is put a little bit of uh, um, aged balsamic in here. This isn't burning, about, is about it? a tablespoon. Oh no, good? it's fine. Okay. It's fine. I burn stuff all the time. I'm, I'm a professional <laughs> yeah, at that part. Yeah, doubt that. All right. So we're gonna. I hope this thing isn't too loud. We're gonna let this start uh, processing. What you want to do is uh, pulse it and let it let it chop. You don't want You don't want to do it too. Uh, sorry. You don't want to do it so it's too fine. You want to have a little bit of chunkiness body into it. Add a little bit more oil to it. I thought this thing was going to be really loud, but it's not too bad. Now. Okay. Wish I had one of those handy things yeah, at home. This, That's on that the fancy? Christmas list, Michael. Uh oh. I wasn't not for you, but I'm. Just I was going to say one, two, three minute gazpacho, but I didn't know if that was kind of corny. I already did say it. Then it's a little too late. <laughs> Anyhow. I'm going to move over. <laughs> okay. So this, if you can see the tomatoes are browning up just a little bit. And what this does, the reason why I like to do it this way, the, rather than use you know, the, the traditional raw, is that the caramelization of the tomatoes, it kind of gives a little bit more sweetness to the, to the soup itself. So I'm going to turn this off now. Could you roast those tomatoes? Oh, you can too. You sure can. You can put them on a grill, put them on a hole, um, just put a little bit of oil on top of them, throw them on your, on your grill outside, and uh, let them cook until the outside skin becomes a little black. Then you can also peel those. You know, so oh, it so anyhow, so good. So okay, we're gonna, we're so gonna let this go. What's next? Okay, how do we, how we, do we are plate actually, this so we can you know, make? we are all we are <laughs> actually all set with this with, as far as the finishing of this. Okay. So we're just gonna go ahead and put a little bit in each bowl here. Oops. 
And I, I did, what I did is, oops, I did reserve a little bit of the vegetables to, to do a little bit of garnish on top of this as well. John, Michael? Mike, you. Uh-oh. John, come on in. Let's taste. Little garnish. Little garnish Gil, well done, sir. Well, thank you. Oh, here, hold on. You're almost done. I got one more thing for you here. Mm. Need to get you a little bit of. Oh, you got to yeah, have some bread. Oh, throw that bread on there. Look mm. at this. Oh, wow. look how beautiful there that is. Go. I'm impressed. Put it right down go. there, John. I want you to have some. <laughs> look at them. Are you we can all share. You, can, you can go first. I can wait. No, no, ladies. I can wait. I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish talking to Gil here because you guys are offering this at Pasta Fina. Just today. Just today, though. yes. Yeah. Again, it's it's something that we would do normally in the summertime, but uh, since I was invited to do this today, we wanted to come in and uh, and offer it here. Perfect. Okay. I'm glad he's off camera because he just. Uh, I am off camera. <laughs> 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 I've got to have no, a second. No, I'm kidding. I'm teasing. I've got to have a second bite. Oh, good, good. It's so good. I love the texture of it. It's still uh -huh. crunchy. You still get the crunch of the vegetables, and I think that's important. Right, it is. You know, I, I talked to a good friend of mine. His uh, family used to have an old restaurant in town. We started talking about cold soups, and it immediately brought me up to one of the cold soups that they had at their restaurant. Completely mm -hmm. different um, soup. It was a uh, Vichy Oh, yeah, yeah, it's one of my love favorites. Love that too. But, uh, mm -hmm. So I called him this morning and said, hey, Ray, you know, I kind of missed your restaurant. I wish it was still around. But, but hmm. we, at right. least we had a nice talk. But, you know, it's again, it's refreshing and... It's oh, perfect it's for, really good. For, for a winter morning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really quick, uh, oh, sure. where are you guys located at? We are at um, 5931 Heather Downs Boulevard on the corner of Heather Downs Boulevard and uh, Holland Perrysburg Road across from Kazmaier and St. Joan of Arc. All right. Little plaza. Thank little you show. so much. Oh, thank you. Thank I'm here to do this. I have to do the elbow thing with you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> there you go. So you got to this thing. Well, right. wait, oh, it's all right. I can take it. It matches right. my tie. <laughs> no, you didn't. Oh, you didn't. Oh, good. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yeah. We're good. Nothing, no, we're on, good. Your, nothing on your tie. Gil, We're well done, sir. celebrating National Gazpacho Day. Eating. We have to take a break. 617, we'll be right back. Mm. I'm having some of this. Yummy. Oh, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll go ahead.